we're going to go see if those two guys are at the job there at Trader Joe's. And we're going to have a little bit of fun today. If they're both there, it's going to be funny. And if they're not, they're not. This is for audio only. <laughs> here today. Wait until I put up a vlog spot 
and find all those um, pictures and things like that. It's going to be fun. Well, not these types. <laughs> It's where the huddle used to be. How come nobody could save it? How come nobody leased it before they got their hands on it? Ah, oh, the good old days that never existed. But the Galactic and Arcade, the only reason why that that went under is because the original owner sold it. And the new owner, his forte was to buy and sell old video games. Could have gone to the launch pad. Hi, everybody. Graffiti, graffiti, graffiti. Oh, those were the good old days. 1980, John Lennon murder. And then in 1981, in the wintertime, somebody put up a tribute to him. In the winter? In the wintertime? Chucking records. Remember those days? Like people like, oh, I don't know. Let's see. Steve Price. Ernie Rubin. Danny Contreras. Scott Randall, Tom Lynch, Troy Joyce, Darren Riddle, and whoever those guys that were living at that one house were. <laughs> That's got to be really, really funny. You wouldn't believe these guys. I'm not, I'm not, no, no, not those two, but the others. Whatever happened to the kids? Come, there's no kids out here just having fun. <laughs> like the good old days. There should be about five kids right now on bicycles going down the street. I think I'll add this in to begin with anyways. Add this to the other one of those um, Windows Movie Maker. One year. For Halloween, somebody had come along on this very fence. Boy, a lot has changed since I was a kid. Maybe they got a new fence, I don't know. It took some shaving cream and they went like this. Just going down and doing that along this very fence here. Well, now some graffiti. That's a rarity. But nobody has ever done that to this fence since. This used to be completely, totally different. As a matter of fact, for many, many years, the, um, the uh, uh, whiteout graffiti used to be here. And this used to be a better area to hide things in the bushes. And the trees were on the outside, and you had the ability to climb them like you wouldn't believe. Right now, they're trying to do some stupid renovation here again which doesn't seem to make any sense. <laughs> but the other part of it is that you used to be able to get on the roof of this place pretty easy for the longest time. People used to, you know, the, the trees, you could climb them and you could go high and high and high and high like I did. And nobody ever, to my knowledge, ever got hurt. Nobody. Nobody ever got hurt. Nobody. Not as far as I could tell. <laughs> 
See, nobody plays like they used to during the good old days. They don't do it like that anymore. I guess they can't. Let's see if there's any remnants of the good old days. The good old days that never existed. Ah, some graffiti. But this place used to be a haven for graffiti too. But the funny thing is that stupid kids, and I mean really stupid kids, if somebody came along with a can of spray paint, literally with spray paint, with spray paint, all the kids would naturally blame it on me. Where would I get the spray paint from? And sometimes on a Sunday afternoon, especially after when the rains have let up, kids come on over here and play. In this day and age, the good old day and age, there were tons of other people still here. Tons of them would just invade the school and play. Remember Rogers Junior High? Well, that, that area is a no-trespassing zone like you wouldn't believe, enforced by the cops. But somehow people would get over the fence and just get here. Oh, it was fun. Fun and painful. Bullies and lies. Mrs. Weiner. <laughs>